So Tate Steel Stock has been going like the train, the train tracks that they're literally building, just up, up and up, and especially here in recent times. But today I want to raise a finger of warning regarding this Indian very popular stock. Why? Well, stay tuned to find out because the answer is all in the numbers in this case. If we take a quick look at the financials, we're seeing that production is increasing quarter on quarter, comparing the same year quarter of 24 to the same year quarter of 23. We're seeing an increase both internationally and in India in the total amount of production in this case. However, if we take a look at the financial results here from the company, the revenue from operations, we can see that they're actually declining here instead. We can see it even more clearly and bigger if we look at the Google Finance tab. We can see quarter on quarter here for the latest quarter of March 24. Compared year on year a drop by about 7%. For December we see a drop of 3% and it goes on here 7% and once again we see a drop in 6% for June. <clears throat> so total production is increasing but profits are not. Revenue is down. How does this make sense Andreas? Well, the number is all there. We take a look at the steel price graph. So this is for the latest five years price of steel. We can see that it's down low and it's been dropping here since 2023. It was a bit higher and we see a slight drop off here into 2024. So this is to blame. This is the number behind it. But we're not out of the woods yet. We've seen that historically it has been a lot lower and could potentially go a lot lower if supply continues to increase but demand is not there. Well, then the market is flooded and this steel price will just go even lower. It's simple economics. And the stock is not really pricing this in, in my opinion. That's why I'm raising a finger of warning in this case. We're seeing that the price of Tata Steel is just going to the moon. And I've done some research, reading online and on articles to see why investors think like this. And they believe in strong demand nationally from India. With the recent re-election of Moody, he did not get a majority. So we will see how easy or difficult it will be to press through on those domestic projects of building out the country's infrastructure. And then for China, we've also seen demand slow, but investors believe that this will rebound. Well, if it's slowed, then where's the drop in share price to price this in? And if it recovers, well, can it go that much higher? It's, it's already priced quite expensively compared to the actual earnings, the actual profitability of this company. We don't see a price to earnings ratio, although we saw profitability in all quarters but one on a per share basis for this company. And the number on the negative quarter was quite large. So this leads me to believe that there is some sort of accounting trick going on, some sort of write down in, it might be goodwill, it could be anything related to that. If I were to take a deeper dive, a deeper look into the stock, I would start there and take a look at why that quarter was so negative to really understand this as a potential investment. However, I will not put any money into Tata Steel in this case. I think it's too highly priced. I think it's a lot of risk here from the steel price potentially continuing to drop. And with the recovery from China being priced in and the high national demand being priced in, I think there's a lot of potential for disappointment for investors in this stock. However, that's just my opinion. As always, hope you guys make a ton of money 
whatever investments you decide to make. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.